All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to talk to you about how to fix an issue where your Grand Theft Auto single player seems to have a weird stuttering problem where it just seems to hitch or to lag out randomly when you're driving around and you're not entirely certain why. So the way that I ended up fixing it was I had to limit my frames on the game because I'm playing this years later than when it first came out and it doesn't handle modern graphics cards that can produce like 300 frames per second. So the way to limit your frame rate inside of GTA, the lazy way without modding is to simply go into your graphics in the settings and then go down and enable VSync. And that fixed my issue. Now there are some other things that you may want to consider doing if that doesn't help. The first one is make sure that you've got the most recent version of your graphics driver on your computer, you might think to yourself, look, Larry, it's been like 10 years. What could possibly change if I updated my graphics drivers for a modern graphics card? Like this thing's been out for years. Is that really gonna fix anything? You might be surprised. So go ahead and like log out of the game and go ahead and update your graphics drivers and see if that helps. The other thing you can do is you can turn off things like G-Sync or whatever AMD equivalent you might be running that synchronizes your graphics card with your monitor to try to produce a more smooth, non-frame tearing effect that can sometimes cause some graphic hitching problems depending on the game. Another thing you can do is you can go into your graphic settings and you can reduce your frame rate, refresh rate for your monitor to 60 hertz and see if that changes anything. You can try 120 hertz. I tend to leave mine at 144, but again, there's all sorts of things that could affect this, so there's no sense not trying a little bit of everything. You can also turn down all of your settings just to see if that helps, from very high or ultra, depending on which one's available, to high or normal. Whatever the lowest it can go, change that through this entire list and see if that improves things, because you never know which one of these might be causing a graphical hitch. It could be the shadows. It could be the post-processing. It could be the anastropic filtering. You don't know until you try. So try turning all of these off and reducing them to their lowest point and seeing if that fixes things. If it does, you can go through and then turn them back up to high one at a time until you figure out which one of the settings is causing that issue. And then if it still is having a problem, you can also go through and you can verify the integrity of your game cache. You can also just uninstall and reinstall the game if you have a fast enough internet so that's not a big problem and see if any of those things fix the issue that you're having. But if you do reinstall it and you have a second hard drive on your computer, especially uh, an SSD, try installing it to another hard drive or try installing it to the SSD and see if that improves things. But again, my problem was actually that I had to turn back on VSync and reduce my frame rate. So give that a try first and see if that helps. So those are the top things that I would do to try to fix frame stuttering and frame hitching inside of Grand Theft Auto single player. For whatever reason, this doesn't seem to happen all that often in multiplayer. So if you're not all that interested in playing the single player like I am, then you can just play multiplayer with your friends and not worry about it. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.